savage love. Did somebody, did somebody break your heart? Oops. This is another review video. Oh my goodness me, what's wrong with Rochelle all of a sudden? She stopped making music videos and she started making review videos. Hmm, what's cooking? Okay, so it's no big secret really. The reason I'm doing another review video is because my previous review video did really well. If you haven't watched it yet, please do. And I sound a little weird over there, like a chipmunk. And I was asked a thousand questions as to why I sound like that. That's because I fast forwarded the video and I messed up with the quality. And I'll try to do better this time, promise. Okay, so what am I reviewing today? It is the Wacom One. Now, what is this? The Wacom One is another writing tablet. And most of us are looking for writing tablets right now to teach online and to work online maybe. And another friend of mine, Arjun, purchased the Wacom One. And he said, review this too. And I said, why not? And so here I am. Now, what am I going to deal with in this video? I'm going to be comparing the Wacom One with the XP Pen Star, which I purchased and I reviewed in the previous video. Even though it's priced slightly higher compared to the XP Pen Star G960, is it really worth it? And the required links, which you would want to check out. Okay. So let's go ahead with the unboxing. All right, so let's see what's in the box. Oh, we have the writing tablet here. Let's open this. Looks pretty cool. We have a detachable USB cable. There's a booklet here containing the instructions the startup guide and some other important information we have the pen and we also have a set of nibs and the ring if you recall i explained in my previous video with the xp pen star this is used for replacing the nibs when your nibs wear out you can see the size of this tablet. It's pretty small and compact and very easy to carry around, I would say. So now let's go ahead with the working and installation of the Swagom. The first thing you need to do is install the required drivers. So you can go to the Wacom website. I'll give the link in the description, not to worry. Since mine is a Windows 10, I will be downloading this one. Once you download it, and install the particular driver. An icon like this is going to appear on your screen. You can double click that for the options. The first thing you should do is register your device. And once you've done that, you can click on getting started to know more about your tablet. If you wish to know more about how to use it, you can click on tutorials. These tutorials are from experts and artists. If you have any issues with your Wacom, you can click on user help and you will get online help with your Wacom device. And for all other important product information like specifications, cautions, license, warranty, you have this. Now we'll go to the pen settings. You have a series of options here. You can adjust the feel of the nib, the tip of the pen, the pressure of the pen the double click distance i haven't changed these settings but you can do it according to your requirement however i have changed the button settings i have selected the top button for the eraser function so whenever i write i can just click this button and erase what i've written the lower button is for scrolling but you can change this over here once you do this you can close this and you can start using it the first thing I will deal with is PDF annotation. For this, I have downloaded an application called PDF Annotator. And you can open your PDF of choice, clicking this option. If in case it's a restricted document, you will get these three options. Click on create a digital copy. That will allow you to annotate on a restricted document also. Select the pen tool, select the color of your choice and start writing. As simple as that. 
The next thing that I'm going to deal with is using it with Microsoft PowerPoint. This is very easy. Go to review, start inking and start writing. Choose the color of your choice and it's pretty simple. Please share. You can erase it with the press of a button or select the eraser option. Using it with Excel, go to review, start inking and write away. Now using it with Microsoft Word, you just have to go to review option, start inking, just like Excel, start writing away. You have all the color options above. There is one more app called the Sketchbook, which I've downloaded. And this is specifically for those of you who would like to write on plain sheet instead of writing on Microsoft Word, Excel or PowerPoint. You have series of options here like pencil, the highlighter, the brush, the paint brush, the ink pen, the Volta pen. And you can also choose different colors. You have the fill option here, you have the text option here and you have more options which you can explore later. Since I've already selected upper button of the pen as eraser, I just have to press that and erase. It's a really cool app and I'm sure you'll love it. Coming to the specifications, it is suitable for both left-handed and right-handed people and it is compatible with both Windows and Mac operating systems. Coming to the comparison between Wacom and XP Pen, this Wacom, it is got a pressure sensitive cordless stylus. The active area is 6 inches into 3.7 inches. On the other hand, the XP Pen, which I had reviewed earlier, was 8 inches. It was slightly bigger. It has not got any express keys, unlike the XP Pen tablet, which I reviewed earlier. And the USB cable in XP Pen was not detachable. All in all, I would say that if it doesn't matter to you whether there are express keys or whether the size is bigger or the price is a little more, then I think you can go for the Wacom because this one is pretty small and compact. Again, if you are looking for an established brand, then Wacom is an established brand. You can then prefer a bigger size in the Wacom as well. Currently, there is an offer running for the Wacom One on Amazon. It's priced at 3,700, so go grab it immediately if you're planning to buy this one. However, if you prefer the Express Keys and you don't mind having that that connected cable to the writing tablet, and you know you prefer a bigger sized writing tablet for a lesser price, then you could choose to go for the XP Pen. Okay, so that is it about one by Wacom. Hope you liked this video and if you did, please share it with others who might find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe and do check out my other music videos on your way out and share them as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.